Now we're joined by Anne-Marie Dunphy. Anne-Marie, of course, is the High Performance Team Manager for the Pony Dressage team. Anne-Marie, they had their team tests yesterday and they go forward to their individual tests now this afternoon. Tell us how they got on yesterday. I was very proud of how the girls performed. They gave a very good account of themselves. Um, they're a relatively inexperienced team. This is their first championships and uh, I thought they all ro rode to the best of their ability that they could do at the moment and I couldn't have asked more from them at this point. And going forward now um, to this afternoon's test, do you think yesterday will be a benefit to them? Yes, I think so. I think they're going to go in and attack the tests a little bit more. We have a more difficult test today. It's the individual test, so the technical detail of it is more complicated. But they're well prepared, and I think they'll go in and give it their best shot. And um, as you can probably hear, the Nations Cup has just started behind us. But all that cheering, like the atmosphere now, there's more of a buzz today. Do you think that will affect the ponies? I don't think so. I mean, the, the dressage arenas are quite separate from the show jumping. Um, if it does, I think it might uh, lift our ponies a little bit more, if anything else. Um, and you never know, it might upset some of the others. Alana, we've just come up from watching your test and it looked absolutely beautiful to me. Um, are you happy? I'm very happy with him today. So much better than yesterday. Um, I think if I rode the test again, it probably would have come out the same because he went the best that I could have got him going in the circumstances. So it was raining and... That's absolutely brilliant. Um, and tell me a little bit about yesterday. I mean, there is quite an atmosphere down there and there's a lot of people watching. Um, well, yesterday he was, he was a little bit lazy going into the test, but it was just laziness because when he came out, he was full of energy again. So um, yeah, and then the atmosphere, there's a lot of people watching and it's great because all, all the Irish people came down to watch our tests and we were watching the eventers, so it was a really big support team for us. And the pony loves people watching him, so he's, it's great for him really, it gives him a bit more confidence. Yeah, I'm really pleased. My rain back was really good. I'm really happy with that. My first simple change on the centre line was really good and he was less spooky than yesterday. He was more attentive, more listening to me and he behaved a lot better. But he was not the easiest to ride. <laughs> and um, there's a great crowd around um, and there's a great crowd watching you. Do you think that's affecting him at all or um, does, he, does he like people watching him? Uh, it's not, I don't think it is affecting him or me. I think we're just concentrating on getting into business. But it's nice to hear cheer and clap when you get out of the arena. <laughs> it's great atmosphere. I made lots of friends with some of the people that have travelled abroad. And there's a lot of a sense of very much encouragement and fun. And I think it's a good build for the future of us becoming senior riders and juniors and young riders. Uh, brilliant, Lillian. Thanks for chatting to us. And um, yeah, best of luck. Thank you. Now we're joined by Lucy Arkwright. Lucy, you've just come up from cross-country schooling. Uh, first of all, tell us about your test and, and are you happy or how did it go? Um, I was slightly disappointed um, at the start, but she's only seven years old and she, it's just a learning process and she's been doing so well this year. So, uh, you know, it was, it was just, and especially as it's a completely different environment for her, so she did really well in that. So initially I was happy enough with this. We're delighted because we've got a set of scores for the team now that are close together. So um, if, if anyone does have a hiccup on the cross country, then we still, you know, got a good, strong team score. And also it was wonderful to have all the other competitors, uh, the, the rest of them able to ride. So great experience for them in the dressage and hopefully in the cross country as well. Yeah, it is. It's my first year competing in pony trials and it's her year, her first year also as well. So, you know, it's just amazing to be here, especially, you know, anything I do here is just a bonus. So I think we really probably in most cases did the best we could do. So um, hopefully it's onwards and upwards from here over the next two days.
It's absolutely fantastic to have a Europeans in Ireland. It seldom happens and to be involved with it is unbelievable, especially this year when you're leading up to the World Equestrian Games. But for Ireland, like to bring all these countries to Mill Street, it's just unbelievable for the country. And of course, Gain Horsefeed sponsor um, all the Irish teams down here, which is hugely important, but they're, they're all going pretty well. Are you happy? Yeah, you'd have to be very happy, like it's a big competition, the dressage team performed admirably their first time competing in dressage, the show jumpers are lying in fourth, um, they're going well, we're only after having dressage with the eventers and they're lying fifth or sixth and they're going real well and it's, it's very tight so the show jumping and the cross country will have a big say and hopefully that'll be their strong point but everything is going well. I'm blown away. It's, it's just spectacular and there's a serious buzz here and all the visitors are hyped up and they're excited about the place and the hospitality and the ambience. It's just fantastic and the competitions are excellent now and the standards are very high, very high. Um, and it's great to see so many Irish supporters. All I can see is green jackets. Well, there's a lot of Irish people here, which is great because it's given uh, Irish kids who aren't competing the opportunity to see the best, you know, and to benchmark themselves and see what it takes to, to get to the top. But like the Irish young riders are doing well now, and uh, we can be very proud of them. We can be very, very, the competition's intense, but they're holding their own. Yeah, the children are brilliant, but the, and the ponies are fantastic. But like, you know, you look at some of the pony competitions, show jumping competitions, and you see the height that these kids are riding ponies down over, and some horses can't even go near that height. Like, so they are fantastic. The combinations are brilliant, and hopefully they'll all go well and compete safe and soundly. Oh, definitely, definitely. We're in the, we'll be in the shootout. I'm confident of that. And all the kids that are here are winners. To be representing their country wearing a green jacket, they're a winner anyway. 